Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a nail video, but I'm going to be doing something a little bit different that I haven't really dabbled in at all yet, except once, like three or four years ago, I think. Um, and I didn't do a very good job, but this time I know a little bit more um, about applying tips and all that stuff, but this is an acrylic nail kit. Oh my God, this. Sounds like something opened up in there. Oh no, this is from Amazon. I will put the link in the description box down below um, if you're interested in purchasing this kit. And there's also other kits available as well. There's dip kits too. So um, yeah, and this is by Kusari. Okay, so let's open this up and see what we've got inside. I think it just smells really strong okay so there is tips and about us and how to apply and then about how to use the nail um, drill that's in there so we've got this little glass jar to keep the solution in we have the monomer, and this is what you're gonna combine with the dip powders, or not the dip, the acrylic powders. So we've got white, and this is 15 grams, 0.5 fluid ounces. There is pink, and there is clear. Today, I think I'm gonna be using the clear And then there is the drill, which is this, and then this is the plug, and then the drill bits. So that is all, oh, and the acrylic brushes to apply the or to apply the powders to your nail comes in three different sizes and these are numbered as well this is number four which is the smallest and then the medium one is number eight and then the large one is number 12. and then it also comes with these nail forms as well so i'm going to start by filing the nail just a bit this um helps get rid of the ridges and makes it easier for the solutions to be gripped on the nail So instead of the forms, I will not be using the forms today. I'm going to be using my tips that I got from Sheen. Just because I don't, oop, I'm shaking the camera. Just because I don't do so well um, with forms. It's easier for me to use um, tips. So I'm gonna finish up here and then I'm gonna come back with the next step. So I added my tips and then I filed like right here to make sure it meets and it's smooth and there's no like big lip there. And then I filed the shiny part off of the tips and then I'm going to add a layer of bond just like I do for my dip nails just to make sure that the acrylic adheres properly to the whole nail. All right, so I poured the solution into this glass that I have. I'm going to take my acrylic and open it. And this is the clear. And then 
I've kind of been watching a step-by-step -step video on YouTube just to so I know what I'm doing. Okay, I'm gonna put that right there. So I was told to get all the bubbles out of the brush. And I have this mat down because there's gonna be times where I'm gonna have to wipe my brush on the mat. So take a bead Oop. and I'm gonna wipe that down because I need to get more liquid I guess on the brush you need to like make a bead and then but is that dry start at the top and then work my way down the nail with it. And make it flush with the nail. Just like that. Now I'm gonna take a second bead of acrylic. And I'm going to place it in the middle. And then with the body of my brush, bring it up until it is flush whoop, with the top. I need a little more solution. I don't know if I'm doing this right, but I'm learning. So now for this last part, I'm going to pick up a little bit less than the last one. And that is going down here. Oh. And I'm pushing that into that one, which I don't think I did that as well as I should have. So I'm going to Oh, there we go. So it's a little bit lumpy, but <laughs> I don't know. We'll see what happens when we, um, file it. All right, so I kind of tried to smooth it out and fix it up just a little bit. So I'm going to do the rest off camera to these four other nails and then my other hand and then we'll break out the file and see how well that works. Okay, so I had to open the windows. <laughs> so if you hear like commotion outside, there's nothing right now, but like cars going by and whatnot. Oh no! It went through the thing. Okay, so so if you hear cars or anything outside, that's because the windows are, are open. I started getting a headache from the solution. Make sure you're well ventilated. Um, I will say that. But anyways, um, here's how they turned out. So what I ended up doing was that three bead method that I did on on the nail that I showed you, I ended up repeating it on every nail because I it didn't wasn't at the desired thickness that I wanted, so I just did it twice. So this is how they turned out. It's a tad bit lumpy, 
um, but it is my first time. So um, I think I did pretty well for the first time, I would say. Um, I did everything right this time. I put the, the tips up high instead of down low like I did at first. Um, I prepped and primed and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully these stay on um, as well as acrylic nails from the salon. They're not going to look completely salon done because this is my first time and I'm not a professional. But I think they look pretty well. So now it's time to um, file them and smooth them out. So I'm going to grab that e-file. Okay, so here are the heads. I think I'm just going to use like a sander just because um, I'm not really trying to file anything off. I'm just trying to... Um, does that fit? Oh, I'm just trying to file them, smooth them out is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so this head, this goes on top of that. And then I just put that in here. And then there's this thing right here. So you're just going to flick this and then it turns on and spins. And then this is, this thing right here adjusts the speed. So let's see. So, I mean, it works pretty well. It spins really fast. And this is a really nice portable drill. It's not big and clunky like the one I have. That one has to be, like, put on a desk. You can't shove that in your, like, bag or anything like that. So, this one's nice. Oh. I keep unplugging the plug in the back when I like lean in but yeah so I'm gonna finish um filing and shaping these nails and then I will be back to show you all right so here they are I think they turn out really really well and then I used this tool on the e-file to get in the crevices down there just to clean that up a bit and then I used some of this to um, wipe the dust all off and wipe them down so I'm really happy with these ah oh, this kit was actually um, not easy easy but this was pretty pretty easy for a beginner to use I used which brush the middle brush the number eight and then just a little bit of not a little bit but I filled the solution about up to about there and I used pretty much all of it there was a little bit left when I was done but yeah I'm actually excited what I want to do whoop with these ones, I've always seen the pink and white ombre. I do want to try the ombre. So I might do another video on this. And I think I'm going to get more colors because, and not just in this brand, in other brands as well, I really want to get more colors. Now, powders you can get from anywhere, but the monomer you want to get from a U.S. company. I'm going to stick with um, this brand for monomer. Um just because I know it's safe. Um, but yeah, I do want to get other colors and I do want to try the ombre with the pink um, at the bottom and the white at the tip where they ombre together. I think that would look really cute and I'm excited to try out doing an ombre. Now, today I'm just going to end this video with the finished nails of this and then I'm going to do a separate video of painting them and doing the design. I'm going to do a Christmas one. And I think I'm going to post it on Christmas. Um, 
just to have a video for that day and because I do want to do I promised you guys Christmas nails so I am going to do a Christmas design I'm going to eat lunch first and then I'm going to do a design um, on my nails in a separate video so I'm really excited to do that so we'll see how they turn out I think they look really cute right now so um yeah I think they'll look even cuter with a Christmas design on them and then I'll have my nails all done for Christmas and it feels so nice to have nails back on. I have had short nails for so long. I'm, I'm happy. Okay, so yes, like I said in the beginning of the video, if you're interested in purchasing this set, which um, I know I didn't explain how to apply it too, too well, but um. I looked up how to apply acrylic and it was really easy. Like I said before, you're just going to do that one and I did it twice. You're going to do that one dot, one ball. What is it called? Ball, I guess up here and then bring it down and then one in the middle to form that apex and bring it up into the top one to sort of like connect them and then a little bit less on your um, thing and put it down here to bring up into, um, to blend it all together. Now I do that twice on each nail and I think it turned out really nicely. And um, it was kind of hard at first where I was like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? Um, do I have the right consistency? It's not balling up like I want it. And then once I got to this hand, actually, it got a lot easier and I was able to get a groove and figure out how much I exactly that I needed for each nail and whatnot. And it became really easy. So I'm excited and I kind of really want to get into acrylic nails. So yeah, I think I'm going to do more of these videos doing acrylics as well as I'm going to do my dip nails too because I do have tons of that and I don't want to just let that go to waste um but I think I do want to get into acrylic as well because it's not as hard as I thought and um they actually they're on here nicely like it feels nice um and yeah and it didn't take me I feel like as long as my dip nails I feel like there's better control because you're actually pushing it around and pushing it where you need to be and it's not getting everywhere because you're not painting the whole nail and then accidentally getting some on your finger and this and that so I feel like I have a lot better control with the acrylic than I do with the dip um so yeah but yeah if you're interested in purchasing this set, I will post the link in the description box down below. This set is $27.99 plus tax with free Amazon Prime shipping. So that is a great deal for a whole acrylic set plus the drill. This drill is very, very nice and very powerful for, um, for just like a portable drill. I thought that this was extremely powerful and it worked really, really nicely. You get, um, yeah, a lot for your money. And that is everything. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Have an awesome day. Bye.